Hi guys, Mike here. Welcome to episode 1 of the Endless Runner mini-series. In this series we are getting started by setting up the project. For that we need to create the C++ project for the Endless Runner, import game assets that I will provide to you, stuff that I created and some stuff that came from some epic examples, and then we are creating the game mode and creating a game level and setting up the game mode. So it's gonna be a real short video, but it's really necessary. But I promise in next video, we are really getting into the meat of things and it's gonna be really fun. So before we start creating our project, let's talk about the game assets for one second. So the game assets can be found under this link. I will provide this in the description. This is my GitHub account. Let's have a look there. So under Endless Runner, you can find two zip files that contain all the assets that we need and also the license for that because what is really important is that the license, and I mentioned it here, is only for use with the Unreal en or with Unreal Engine based products. So although I created some of them on my own, but I'm using the mannequin and like a particle system and a coin, so I will base the license for these under the EPIC uh, way of licensing it for only use with Unreal Engine based products. So, and here you can find them. And also under slides, you can find all the slides that I'm um, created and used so far. So you can download them if you want. So I think it's time to get started. Let's open the EPIC launcher, start Unreal. And then this dialog pops up. So we are clicking games, click on next. Then we are selecting the plank template. So like I mentioned in the overview episode, we are not using any templates. We are not going to start like many others do with the third person template, but we are really doing everything from scratch, even the character. So we are not using a pre-configured character we are creating everything on our own, and this will even start next episode when we create the character. So let's click on next. Instead of blueprint, we are clicking C++, maximum quality, no starter content, and then let's call it endless runner and create our project. So this might take a while. I'll stop the video here until everything is done and created, code is compiled and so on. I'll be back in a second. So I'm back. The editor has opened, clean editor project. And writer, it's doing its thing in the background, parsing header files and preparing everything. So I thought first thought about creating our own endless runner game mode, but for this purpose, for this series, I think we can stick with the default generated one. I mean, it's a bit long in the name, but doesn't matter. So let's head over to the editor. And the first thing that I want to do is import all the assets. So let's open up an explorer and we can see here's our project. I installed it or created it under projects endless runner. We have our two zip files here and we need to extract them into the content folder in this folder. So I'm going to extract it. Extract it and you can see automatically in the editor. Let's click on this button to show the source panel and see the hierarchy stuff. What we have here is the content directory. And what I usually do, and this is my personal choice, I start game assets and um, which we will create in a second uh, underscore game folder. Because when I sometimes import third-party assets, all my important folders are always on the top and the other on the bottom. So let's have a look at the game assets. Um, in here you can see the UI elements, the buttons that we are going to use later on for the HUD and the main menu, the pause menu and so on. We have audio for the coin pickup, the explosion stuff. Then here's the mannequin, so you don't have to import anything. We can have the mesh, the materials, everything is here, the animations that we're using. 
And these are, except the coin, these are the stuff that I created in Blender and um, just simply to create a different kind of floor and obstacles so that you don't have to worry about creating with boxes or anything else in this series. I really want to focus on coding, getting this thing going and not worrying about um, assembling our assets that we are going to need. So these are the objects, uh, the assets, the floor, the obstacles, the coin, the textures, everything, and also the explosion particle. So you have everything here in here that you need to follow along. So what I want to do now, or want you to do now is create a new folder as well, call it underscore game. And in here, like the name says, it's the assets. And in game, we will put everything in there like animations, like the blueprints and so on. So let's create all these folders, call it animations or animation. Create another one, call it blueprints. Let's create one for maps and create one for UMG or the user interface. In some other projects, this hierarchy might look different. It might be more complicated, um, but for this simple mini series, it will suffice. And like I said, I will also use the game mode base. Usually if we are, let's say we were to create our own game mode base, for example. And what I would recommend in your own projects, not in this, in this series, but in your bigger projects, I would really go and select the public so that the header files will be in the public section, the CPP files in the private sections. If you're going to use modules and all that good stuff, plugins, you might get into that in future series. But for now, let's not use public, private, just make it everything simple for you to follow along. So let's use the Endless Runner game mode base and create our first blueprint. Let's say blueprint class click all classes here and type in endless runner and you can see the game mode in here and call it underscore or bp underscore let's call it main level gm because later on we are creating or needing one for the main menu and for this one we just keep it like this save it and one thing, if you don't have the world settings tab here, just go under window, world settings. And by default, a new level was created. We just need to save current as and save it, let's say in map and call it main level. And so the last thing that we are doing in this episode is hooking up our game mode for this level. So in the world settings, we are doing the game mode override and selecting main level here. And okay, one more thing. Let's go into edit project setting. And I want you to go under maps and modes. And under here, if you would close Unreal now, it always would create like a new default template uh, level. Let's just select main level for first for both. Later on the game default map will be the main menu, but for now let's save these as they are. Close it. And I guess that's it for this episode. Click on save all. Save every changes that we made to the level. And so we are really now ready for the next episode where we're really getting into the meat of things. So Let's have a look at what's coming up next. We're really starting by creating our character or setting up our character, creating an animation plant space, a 2D animation plant space where we define walking and running, then creating our character animation blueprint, a C++ base class and a blueprint on top. 
also create our character class and the blueprint and setting up our basic components and functions in the character and the animation blueprints and hooking up things. And so the basic components of the character and basic functions, all that will be set up. So I guess that's it for this episode. If you have any questions or any comments or whatever, please leave them in the comments. No pun intended, but um, I gladly answer any of your questions or if you have different things, just mention it and I will answer it. And if, if you really like this episode, please like and subscribe it and hit the bell to get notified for other episodes that will come out. So I guess see you in the next one then.